50 EFI. So as you can see, this is our uh, one of their newest uh, sport bikes. Uh, they, they have GTOs and stuff like that, but this is the newest and uh, upgrade model. So uh, on the newer side, they do have this front end that looks a lot more sportier. Because um, on the last generation, it looked a little bit less sportier. Uh, this one, I mean, it's, it's beautiful front end. Has, uh, as you can see, it does have the nice LED lights and the two nice projector lights right there. which makes it look a lot sportier. Uh, those nice uh, thick tires in the front with disc brakes. Nice big disc brakes. And I'm telling you, I mean, these tires are pretty thick. I mean, they won't last. So uh, we do have this uh, side right here, LED lights, as you can see. Uh, like I said, this model does happen to be EFI. I mean, that's a plus, you know. If you do have some models with carburetors and stuff, I mean, this thing runs. Uh, I mean, on this thing, I think it says it runs around like 75 miles per hour or so. Oh, so that's, that's crazy for a 250. Let me show you the cluster here. So it is all digital. I'll kind of turn it on so you can see. It has like your nice uh, RPMs there. Tells you if you're neutral, your uh, turn signals, stuff like that. Miles per hour, odometer, your, it's gonna tell you your gas, stuff like that. And right here, even has like a nice little clock, nice little details. So everything else, pretty much just like your older generations, you know, you have the kill switch, high beam, low beam, it's just your lights right there. And there's electric start, as you can see, right here. On the other side, turn signals, you know, your, your lights, your beams, your horn, and then you just have your clutch here. This is gonna be a uh, five speed, so uh, it's gonna be one down, four up. You do have your brakes all around, your nice big tank. Uh, I think it's about almost, almost, I wouldn't want to say like a two, two gallon tank, something around that neighborhood. And like, as you can see, this is a two passenger. So first person here, put up the pegs, second person here. And uh, it does have under, kind of has where you can kind of get onto it right here. You can kind of hold on. Or, I mean, obviously you can hold on to the, to the person driving on the back. Turn signals there. This is where your license plate will, will go. And then we do all the registration here. So, I mean, this is something you could drive off a lot with. As long as you know, you have everything, requirements, everything, you can just drive off with it. So, this tire right here in the back, I mean, it is a pretty big tire. So, I mean, it's gonna grip onto the road. Uh, you know, it's gonna grip on, big, big tire, and nice uh, black, like, kind of, kind of rims. But they look very sharp. Big, thick tire too. So that, I mean, that makes it look pop out. You can see right here, nice exhaust coming all the way right here. It's, it is a one cylinder. Uh, your back brake here, just like normal bikes. I mean, the breakage on this is pretty good. And just, you know, this makes it pop. I mean, just for the air. air. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, do you have anything to say, Sean? What do you think about this bike? Well, honestly, overall, this is a great bike. Um, we had the CXR model before. They were all carbureted. And the fact that this one's fuel injected, let alone, you know, is like... Hey, I have one question. Biggest, is this uh, yeah. air-cooled or what is this? This is liquid cool engine, right? Liquid cool? Mm -hmm. So that, that happens to be what right here? Yeah, that's your, like, little box for the liquid cooling system. Okay. This bike already has. Like I said, on the manufacturer website, it's rated at 75 miles an hour. Now, yep. any other bike that we've looked at before, they did not have any speed information, but right. they're boldly stating that this gets up to 75. And that tells me that if there is a manufacturer putting that information out there, it should be going that fast. Uh, we had uh, a little more conservative number in our heads, like about 60, 65, but no, guys, it gets up to 75. That means they're being conservative and this gets up to like 80, 85, so I'm thinking. So you guys get it, test it out, test the top speed. It's yet to be explored quite yet. It is the new thing, guys. This is this is 2022. No more CXR or any of the, uh, any other bikes. This is going to be a super hit hey, can, bike. Can you show me the, the front lights real quick? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm turning off. And also a little fact, um, we've had at least almost 50 of these bikes. All of those gone within 30 days. Oh, so wow. we were averaging almost about like two bikes per day and that's the whole oh, reason why wow. we're making this video so that way more people can find out about find out about this show bike. me the light trooper uh oh thought i turned it on and while you're at it turn it on turn it on oh well, let's hear it too right yeah look at that guy so this lights up right here as you can see lights up and then you have the two 
Like just get on a bike and want to ride it. I did. This is a perfect bike to begin with. Yep. It also comes in all different colors, guys. So this is the red, green, black. We have the black, black on black trim. Black we on got black. The white on black trim. We got and the, the red. blue on black trim. The red on black trim. Yeah. All of them are yeah, very so these pretty colors. These do come in different colors, so you know you don't have to settle for the green. But which it does look nice to me, though. And also financing wise, we can finance it all of it for you guys with as low as zero down about like hundred fifty dollars. You heard it here. And that's for like Texas residents. And now if you're out of state, you can definitely visit our website and be able to order one. We should be able to ship you in the box, assemble however you guys want it, and check with your local DMV about getting it registered and street legal to your own local state. In Simple. Texas, we do everything for you guys. Gives you about sixty miles to the gallon. It's really efficient on fuel. Uh, always put the higher octane on this one so you, you're trying to avoid that ethanol it is uh, electronic fuel injection so we don't really have to worry about choking it or, or anything like that right so cold start is a thing of the past now with this uh, model coming out so that's real good now if you guys want to find out more information about this bike please feel free uh do check out the description below for our phone number address and reach out to us with any questions you might have we're open 10 to 6 every day and our phone number is 469-669-1313 and you can find us at 1290 West Pioneer Parkway, Grand Prairie, Texas 75051. That's where we at. And along with this bike, we have tons of other bikes that we don't even have time to put up online. Check it out guys. So one by one, we'll get there. We have more and some more outside. So roughly about like what 500,000 units yeah i mean you know whatever you want guys just call us <laughs> check the website out i mean we got it so this is a review for the gtx the tachi 250 efi mm -hmm. if you guys want to see anything you see in the back you want to, us to review or you know anything you see on our website you want us to make a video about just let us know in the comment we'll try to get to it other than that i mean this is uh, mike and sean and we're signing out peace all right guys so this is going to be the test drive of the GTX 250, so we'll just show you how to turn it on quickly and then we'll get to riding. So you turn the key, let it let the RPM go up and down, do the kill switch, hold a brake, and then Sounds nice. I've ridden it before personally, and I mean the shifting on it is super, super smooth. And those big tires front and back just make you know make the the whole ride experience a lot better.
right guys inside here that's the test drive of the gtx so if you have any questions let us know this is mike signing off peace